Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about a whole range of things, including the new poster that they just released. Also going to be talking about Canada Graphs and some spoilers that he was able to find out about Episode 6. Some major news about some returning characters as well. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the big thing off the top. This is the new Flash poster. In this poster, we get to see our first proper good look at Barry's cow. We've obviously had that photo the other day, but this is, you know, very high quality. And i got to say, I do like this poster. I think it's very good. I think it works. Although I think the fading and the placement of some of the people could have been done a little bit better. I like it. I like the colours, I like how sort of everything contrasts nicely with the lightning coming off of everyone and simply how like everyone's there because a lot of the posters don't tend to feature like most of the characters so I think it's pretty cool. I like the poster and we get our first like really really good HD look at Barry's suit at his cow specifically because that is the thing that's changed. We got the chin strap back, it's a bit different and it's not a helmet and I think it looks really good I think I'm really kind of digging it compared to you know last season I thought that was a terrible cow it was like the worst thing nothing fit it was all weird like even if I wanted to use a thumbnail it was so hard to find like a pretty decent looking one because the neck was so flabby and all over the place and the helmet was weird and it looked kind of weird so, yeah, I'm very much so happy with this, and I'm looking forward to it. I think the ears look a bit strange, but maybe it's just the angle that this is coming from. I think in action, it's going to look really cool. I like the cow. I think it's very much so heading towards that 2024 look, and, you know, I think this is a good post, and it definitely showcases it in a very good way. So let's move down and talk about Killer Frost. This looks like she's actually in her Killer Frost costume, her new costume. I could be wrong, but it's a really nice look at her. And I like the way that her hair is sort of like floating all over the place. You know, like she's in action and I really, really dig it. She, obviously, she's in full Killer Frost makeup and, you know, hair as well. And, you know, Killer Frost is one of my favorite characters. So I just cannot wait to see more of her. And it very much so excites me that we get like a sort of new look at her rather than just a normal photo of say just Caitlyn. So it's cool that we see more Killer Frost. Okay so let's move on. We have Cisco, we have Iris and we have Ralph. All in kind of just normal poses and nothing too special about those. But it's cool to see them there. Like I said, not so sure about the fading away and some of the positioning of you know where like Cisco is and everything. I think they maybe could have positioned a bit better if they were going for this. But apart from that, I really like this poster. I think it has very nice colors. I like the background, what's going on there with the lightning streaking off and you know, the purples, the reds and how everything sort of blends together. I think it's a nice looking poster and the tagline is speed force. Kind of quirky, kind of cool. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to this new season and you know especially for the trailer which should be coming in the next few days because Supergirl for season 5 they just released the poster before they released that small promo the other day so I'm expecting a promo sometime in the very very near future and I'm talking about like this week because you know they are definitely amping up to something like that in the very near future okay so some big returns According to TV Insider, it's been confirmed John Wesley Ship is going to be returning to The Flash. He's going to be appearing in Crisis on Infinite Earths, the crossover event. We don't know if he's going to be appearing as the Barry Allen version of himself from the 1990s or as Jay Garrick. And so my bet would probably be on maybe both of them, but more likely than not, it's going to be the 90s version of himself because he left so abruptly and he was a big thing in you know warning team flash about the monitor and you know what was happening with crisis on his earth and how they've been you know touched by what was happening 
and you know what is going to happen eventually with crisis coming very soon and so let's move on to talk about Canada Graphs's blog so go check out the blog it'll be in the description below he's got some very much so spoilery content in this because we have the official title that he was able to find out and also another major returning character okay so this is how it goes episode 6 of season 6 is titled license to elongate so license to elongate is an obvious reference to james bond with license to kill and so on and so forth and the way they were dressed i'll have some of the photos on the screen right now there's going to be more photos on his blog so go check it out if you want to see those photos but they are dressed in you know very much so formal wear they're in midway city they're at a art place I'm not specifically sure as to what the venue or event is, I'm guessing it's some sort of gathering or get together and they have to dress like this and I reckon the sort of reference to James Bond is going to be them spying and doing some sort of, you know, navigational work throughout this event, but not navigational in terms of the normal way, but navigating between to spy on people and I think with the stakeout car that we saw the other week with them filming i think that is definitely what's going on it's obviously a lot to do with ralph this episode because that is the title it is licensed to elongate you know the elongated man is ralph Gibney. so yeah let's talk about some of the notes that he wrote down on the blog so this is how it goes the flash was on location for the sixth episode of the season friday monday and today at a theater in downtown vancouver the theatre has been home to many scenes over the years, in fact, this season, Supergirl and Legends of Tomorrow have also used this theatre, this time it was in Midway City, and this time an art pavilion. Just like this shoot last week, where we caught Grant and Hartley sitting in a car outside of Midway City art pavilion, this time we found the pair inside the pavilion, still in Midway City. So it seems like they are, you know, staking out and then they go in and they're dressed up and you know it's all part of their sort of charade following whoever they're following there were other actors on the set he says carla rota alexa plante and rebecca roberts sorry if i butchered anyone's name they were all shooting some of the scenes throughout the three-day shoot i know almost nothing about their characters at this time except alexa was wearing a red mask that she saw someone wearing last week which was more than likely a stunt double and then he actually put an update after he originally posted the blog he found out that Electra is playing a character called ultraviolet and so like he said she was wearing a red mask she is more than likely going to be the villain of the episode she's inside there and that is probably what they're staking out and what they're going to be spying to find out inside that party or you know whatever's happening in the art pavilion so it seems like this ultraviolet character will be the villain in the comics there is no ultraviolet in dc the closest thing is the ultraviolet corpse which is green lantern that's not going to happen so i believe obviously they could mix and mash like a few characters but more likely than not they're going to make up this character just for the tv show and is going to be something unique to what's happening on the show. Okay, so let's move on to talk about this. And this is a last tidbit that Canada Graphs was able to pick up. This is some major returning news. So Michelle Harrison, who plays Nora Allen, will be back. Whether it's for episode 6 or 7, he cannot say. But one of those episodes, she's going to be back for. This is very exciting. We got the official news. Michelle is returning as Nora Allen, Barry's mum. So how is she going to return? Is it going to be in a flashback or is it going to be time travel? I would say because this is episode six or seven, we are pretty much right there just before Crisis. Like I believe Crisis is either eight or nine. So it's just before then. So I believe more likely than not, it's going to be time travel. I don't think she's going to shoot more flashback scenes. It would really make sense if it is time travel and I would sort of hedge my bets on it being that. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. That has been it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I really am looking forward to this season and I'm really looking forward to that trailer in the next few days or so, fingers crossed. So 
please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications as we try and hit 100,000 subscribers. We are getting very close. Thanks for the support over the past few days. Some of the videos have done really well, so I really appreciate that. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.